Good evening, everyone. The Lakeview Arena was host to a high school high, high school hockey matchup today between the Redmen and the Jaguars. The Marquette Redmen were facing off with the Ashwaubenon Jaguars, and the Redmen won a fast start in this game. Two minutes and 15 seconds into the contest, they get just that. Donnie Schultz will get the Redmen on the board. The Redmen are up one to nothing. After a frost goal made it two to nothing, Jake's Phillips will find Joseph Phillips and the Redmen have a 3-0 lead with four minutes left in the first. Jacob Patterson would make it 4-0 at the end of one, but that did not stop the Redmen attack in the second period. Jake Phillips to Joseph Phillips, back to Jake, deflected and redirected. Marquette up big 5-0. Marquette cruises on to victory 8-0 with a mercy rule in the third period. Wescanaba visited Houghton in a battle of two teams who played in the state finals last season. Late first period, Wyatt Liston brings the puck in and Jacob Cruz finds the trailer Reed Pietola who scores. Houghton was outshot 15-2 in the first period, but the Gremlins had a 1-0 lead. Early third period, though, the Gremlins turn it over deep in their zone and Escanaba's Parker LaMarche makes him pay with his second goal of the game. That put Escanaba in front 3-2, but Cruz retied the game and Houghton Got it set goal of the afternoon by him. Overtime solves nothing, and the game ends 3-3 in a tie at D Stadium. Well, the Marquette Iron Rangers hosted the Fox City's Ice Dogs from Lakeview Arena. The Ice Dogs were up early 3-1, and they continue to score. Darren Klitsky gets the breakaway opportunity. He capitalizes. It's 4-1 Dogs. Dogs up 5-1 in the second, so the Iron Rangers put Mike Nade in goal, and he will make several impressive saves. However, the Ice Dogs do get a couple on him. Here's the Ice Dogs' sixth goal of the afternoon. Andy Sims with a wrister. Ice Dogs are up 6-1. to one. The Iron Rangers did start a rally late and ended up being too little too late as they lose 7-6. to six. Let's check out some of the boards. In WCHA hockey, the Northern Michigan Wildcats defeated Ferris State 3-2. to two. Nowak would score the eventual game winner in the third period for the Wildcats. The Lakers of Lake State would also grab a victory over Bemidji State 3-0. And other college hockey, the Finlandia men fell to Lake Forest College 7-1. The women's team also fell today 5-0 against St. Norbert College. Well, the Michigan State High School Cross Country Skiing Championships forged ahead despite below zero temperatures at the Alqual Recreation Area in Ishpeming this morning. This is the classical portion of the pursuit race. Number one is Mitchell DeLong of the Copper Country Ski Tigers. He had a 31 second lead after Friday's freestyle half of the event. His goal, keep it going for a second straight state title. Number four is Nick Niemi of Team Go Gibbick, and number five is Luke Rambo of Marquette High School. Two of more than 50 skiers trying to catch DeLong. DeLong wouldn't, would make sure, though, that no, there would not be a dramatic finish as he crosses the finish line first at a time of 13.38 for a combined time of 26 minutes and 23 seconds with yesterday's freestyle race. His Copper Country teammate Matthew Shard was second overall with Reed Goble of the Lake Michigan team from the Lower Peninsula third and Marquette's Luke Rambo in fourth. In the girls' classical pursuit race, Gretchen Hagenmiller of the Copper Country Ski Tigers only had an eight-second lead on her closest competitor and 11 seconds over third place, both from Traverse City Central. Number 105 is Bethany Wright of Marquette, and number 104 is Annabelle Needham of the Copper Country Ski Tigers. Incredibly, they had the same start times after yesterday's freestyle race. Traverse City Central's Mary Lyon would take command of the pursuit in the first two kilometers and won in a time of 1646 and a combined time of 33 minutes and 17 seconds. She was followed by her teammate Kelly Peregrine. Copper Country Ski Tigers Annabelle Needham and Gretchen Hagenmiller were third and fourth. There is a boys and girls combined team title and the Copper Country Ski Tigers are the state champions with 369 points with Marquette Senior High School second, Traverse City Central third and Ishpeming in fourth. The one high school division four individual wrestling district took place today in Munising. The top four in each class weight class advanced to next week's regional. This is the 189 pound final between the Mustangs Hunter Sadler in black and Quentin Kelly of Rogers City. Sadler recorded several takedowns and one near fall and cruised to an 11-0 victory for his second straight district title. 
At 285 pounds, Ryan Johnson of Gwynn and Black met Bark River Harris's Robbie Broiders in the district final. We're late in the third round. Johnson has a three point lead, but he wasn't satisfied with that. He turns Broiders over and pins him with three seconds remaining in the match, or at 557 if you keep time in the other direction. At 160 pounds, West Iron County's Shea Parson in blue faced Tanner Gonzalez of Manistique. Gonzalez gets a takedown late in the first period to take a 4-1 to one lead. We're not sure if he enjoys fishing, though. Gonzalez's plan was to catch Parsons for a takedown, then release him for an escape. Gonzalez won the district title 14-8. The D4 Individual Wrestling Regional is at Rogers City next Saturday. Manistique, Gwynn, Munising, Rogers City will be in a D4 Team Regional this Wednesday back at Munising. In basketball scores, the Northern Michigan women get a last-second lay-in by Tess Weatherly for the 58-57 victory over Hillsdale. Bree Gasterich had 26 points in the win for the Cats. Danny Blake recorded 30 points for the Huskies, including the 15-footer to force overtime. But in the end, Saginaw Valley wins 74-73. In men's GLIAC action, the NMU Wildcats fall to Hillsdale 85-70. Tech also lost today 80-72 against the Cardinals of Saginaw Valley. In Division I basketball, the Michigan Wolverines pulled the upset on number 18 Purdue 61-56. The Go Give It Community College Sampsons defeated Dakota County Technical College 83-80. Finlandia men also grabbed a victory 73-68 over the University of Minnesota Morris. And in women's college hoops, Finlandia fell to Minnesota Morris 83-70. 270. And of course, for more sports scores and highlights, you can visit us online at UpperMichiganSource.com. Nick, it was a last second, I believe there's six seconds left. Tess Weatherly hits a layup for the NMU Women's Wildcat and to keep their playoff hopes alive. They are the eighth team right now. They're, that means if anything happens, they need a really strong finish this season. Otherwise, they could get bumped from the playoffs. But right now, they're sitting at eighth. So, pretty good thing and a pretty good sign by Tess Weatherly hitting that. Uh, that great layup at the end of the game. Well, it just goes to show you don't leave the game until it's over. That's right, and that's that's what it is. Final score, one point game, and it was ended in regulation. A nice payoff. Definitely. All right, thank you, Ethan. You're welcome.